we'll create this message at the end of the day, and hopefully it'll be, in fact, the biggest, most, most read and most seen uh, AIDS message in the history of the disease. Bam. That's how I do it. That's some good old, that's some good old fashioned walking. Even if that's the message is, AIDS hasn't gone away. Um, even if there's no more than those, AIDS hasn't gone away. Even if it's just those four words that you would get from this campaign, whether it's from Elton John, Bean Vald, or Aaron McCormick, or, or myself, or Rosie O'Donnell, just that is going to, uh, just that is going to, uh, is going to do some good. People need to listen. People need to be aware that the disease has not evaporated. It hasn't gone away. The uh, medicines that we have now improve the life of people with AIDS, but it doesn't eradicate it. There is no cure. I'm always um, moving forward on this goal that I have towards finding a vaccine and hopefully a resolution to the AIDS crisis. So each and every step is just a step in that journey. It was only Larry Kramer, who I believe is in this ad as well. That's the real AIDS activist right there. He's the man who uh, formed ACT UP and screamed and yelled and threw himself in front of St. Patrick's and, you know, did anything he could because everywhere he looked, all he saw was death. Everybody in his circle, 50, 100, 1,000 people, you know, dying. And, you know, one would hope that uh, you would have the tenacity that he did and does still to fight when you feel that there are wrongs that need to be righted. And, I believe there's a righteous indignation from him and every other person suffering with HIV and AIDS uh, to demand that something be done by the government in order to facilitate a cure. And uh, that's what we're trying to help here, is facilitate a cure. And we're in this together, all of us. We really are brothers and sisters in the good times and the bad times. And this is a disaster that can't be solved by one person. It can only be solved by all of us. Kenneth Colf was the head of ANFAR has brought a lot of people together to join as a, a kind of multilateral force of AIDS organizations to um, send new messages of hope and education um, and awareness out there. And I think it's a great idea. We, you know, David said just now that um, AIDS charity, it's not a competitive thing. It's not who raises the best, most money, who's got the best record. It's about matter we all work together, and we've worked together with Amphar for quite some time now as the Elton John AIDS Foundation. So what his idea of here is, is, is a great idea, and it's, you know, he's got so many great people to do it, and we were, of course, willing to do it. If everybody can work together, it'll, it'll be an army, and that's sort of what this photograph, I think, will represent, is the army of people scientists, uh, celebrities, uh, people running foundations that are on the forefront of this, uh, of this fight. I'm just here to lend my face and name and support to uh, the uniting of all of us under the umbrella that uh, if one of us have it, we all have it, that this is no longer a separation, that, that we are in the fight of our lives truly. So anything I can do to uh, bring attention is is up my alley and you know doing it in cement was different but you know I'm hoping it's make my feet very smooth well it's very personal to me because my father died of AIDS um, about I think it's about 14 years ago now in the quite early days of it so you know and a number of friends as well so when you've nursed your father through the last days of this illness you just never want to see another human being suffer through that again and you don't want to see people cut off in the prime of their life by something that could be preventable it's unique because it's really about the uh, dedication of people like you know Kenneth and like Elizabeth Taylor and Elton John and all these wonderful people that have been, you know, really, really just banging on the door for a long time. And then it's about bringing in, I believe, it's about bringing in the newcomers and the people that are going to have to take that responsibility and to move forward with it.